All right, everybody, we're going to be talking about everything you need to start game capturing and making videos and doing it right from the get go. Now, some of the equipment may be relative to people on PC trying to start a channel, but overall, this is the console setup for capturing your gaming, your face cam, your microphone, and having the equipment you need to get it going in the editing process. How you capture your footage with that Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. The option is hands down 100% the Elgato HD60S. Now this can capture up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. This is the hands down best capture that you're gonna wanna be using. For people on PC, they're gonna wanna have the Elgato HD Pro. The way that the HD60 works is your gameplay goes into one side of the HD60, which is all happening underneath my desk here, via HDMI to your HD60, plugs in, and then comes out and heads to your monitor or TV. I highly recommend a monitor. Gaming monitors are just hands down better than TVs. I have a video all about that. There is a USB type C, which is the best possible USB connection that you can have. And that shoots over to your actual computer. Your computer is going to have the Elgato software. You can even adjust how many frames per second you're shooting for, what quality video you're shooting for. You can change how well it's receiving it because not everyone has the same standard of computer. That's how you receive the footage itself from your console. We're gonna be talking about your mics. You're gonna to wanna to have two mics. Really, you're gonna to have to have two mics. You're gonna to have to have a mic that plugs into your console itself via USB. I have the Blue Yeti here. There's a cheaper Blue Snowball, which works perfectly for just communicating in-game with friends and teammates. And the Blue Snowball is actually a little bit smaller and takes up a little bit less space. That's gonna be your USB mic for connecting to your console. Next, you're gonna need a commentary mic and you're gonna want a condenser mic. This is the AT2020. It's about a $150 mic. There are cheaper USB microphones with built-in condensers. It's all gonna be about your price range and what you're shopping for. This is a little bit more high tier and gives a little bit more of a clear and crystal awesome audio quality and this is all going through a noise gate and cancellation which is all preset and that's why the audio quality is sounding so good right now i'm recording this externally not through a game capture this is through a audio capture software and that's how i recommend you do that for your videos is that you go through a software where you can go ahead and set up some noise gates and you can cancel out all types of background noise that you don't want in your videos if your computer is fast enough it can capture your mic, your gameplay, and your face cam all at the same time. Now, you're going to need a computer with a Intel Core i7, and it's also going to go down to your graphics card. How good is a graphics card in your laptop? Realistically, the biggest factor in game capturing does come down to the whole setup. There's no one piece that can really be lacking. But if there is one piece that you cannot fall short on, it is your computer your computer or laptop is going to have to be built. It's gotta be a strong, strong processing and graphics card under the hood to handle making, creating, and editing those videos. A lot of the professional high tier YouTubers are just capturing their audio and their face cam separately in and of itself and syncing it all up later because they're, they're trying to get the best possible audio quality they can. So they have a program running for that. They have their camera operating completely externally. They're not running everything into the Elgato Capture software. They're doing it all separately. With the Elgato HD60S, you're going to need a headset that operates typically off of a mix amp. The reason you need a headset that operates off of a mix amp is the digital optical cable. Now, what happens when you use this is all audio gets sent to your Elgato HD60S. Once you have all the audio getting sent there and you try and plug in a USB headset to your actual console, it is no longer going to send all the audio here. So you'll have footage going to your HD60, but all the audio will get sent to your headset. Once you get a digital optical headset with a mix amp, which this is the Astro A40s, the A50s will work. There's a bunch of different other headsets with mix amps that operate off of the digital optical and give you 
a nice, nice sound. Once you plug in the digital optical, it will still send the audio out via the HDMI to the game capture, and it'll send the audio via the digital optical to your headset. So you're not gonna have anything conflicting or holding you back there. It's gonna be a strong investment on the headset. This is a $250 set of the Astro A40s. There's a lot other cheaper options. You're looking at around 200 bucks approximately for a digital optical headset of high quality. A gaming monitor itself, I recommend much more than a big TV for a gaming setup. You're gonna have a faster input lag. You're gonna be gaming at the best possible capabilities for a competitive gameplay. Also, it takes up a lot less space when you have a gaming monitor. You can shop a lot cheaper than I did. I went with a good budget option, the Asus VG278Q. Now this has one millisecond input lag. It's the flicker free with the eye care, so it doesn't put stress on your eyes for gaming for long hours. And it's just overall a very well-rounded, well-made, screen now there are a lot of good ben q's that are not 300 dollars. there's a lot of msi's that are not 300 dollars. mine's a 27 inch depending on the size that you need and the quality that you need you can get a one to two millisecond screen at 24 to 27 inches for around 200 bucks ballpark 170 to 270 is what you're going to be looking at for a good budget monitor a laptop of high quality with a high quality processor and graphics card is going to be the killer the laptop is going to be the one that really cost you the most and i wouldn't cheap out on it one bit you're going to want that i7 and an amazing graphics card now there are a lot of different specs how big your hard drive is do you have a solid state hard drive how much ram does it have and what is the amount of RAM dedicated to the graphics card? Because that's a big thing now is your DDR4 RAM. Definitely look into that and how that's going to impact you editing and making videos. A face cam or camera, you can go as cheap as 60 to 100 bucks for a 1080p face cam. What this is being shot with right now is a DSLR. It's a Sony. It is a very, very, very good 4K capable camera. Now, that camera that you're seeing right now is around $2,000, but... There are cameras that can do the 1080p at 60 frames per second and will ballpark you at around $100 to $400, I would say. There are some good budget DSLR 4K cameras that will come in right at around $500 to $700. So you can look for those or you can go cheap. There's great cameras at the $200 ballpark range and I would just look up best budget 1080p cameras and you'll find your selection there. When that's all said and done, the next thing you're gonna need is software to edit your videos. I highly recommend Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. This is probably the make or break it section of you having the equipment needed to start game capturing and creating videos. Is how well do you use the software that you make your videos with. These are by no means easy. There's a million tutorials on YouTube on how to use these programs, but Audition is an Adobe program for audio quality, which is what this is being recorded on. Then there's Adobe Premiere, which is a very simple, clean way of editing videos. It's a lot more simple than Adobe After Effects, which has a lot of hardcore editing in it. It's just after Effects is one of the best video editing programs. You're going to be able to have the capabilities once you learn it to do a lot of really amazing things in After Effects. I started on After Effects and eventually learned about Premiere and just found myself thanking the gods and my brother for showing me Adobe Premiere. So definitely check out Adobe Premiere. Now those softwares are not free. Sure, there's free ways to get cracked versions of those software. Is that legal? No. But Yes, you can. In order to get those softwares, you, you are going to have to pay for those programs. That's something to take into consideration there is your editing programs and what you're going to be editing all this raw footage with. Next up, it's not necessary, but controller. You might want to think about getting a competitive controller. I personally have had good and bad experiences with Scuf, so I have a controller coming to me right now, which is going to be the AIM controllers, custom controller. And then I also am getting a Battle Beaver so I'm going to be doing reviews of both of them, and I'll let you know what I think. But me personally, I would never buy a scuff again. That's just coming from me. Not sending off hate, not trying to hate on scuff, but I would never buy one again. So if you want to know why, there's plenty of scuff videos that I have, and I've just kind of tried to stay updated with that and what I was experiencing with it, because these things ain't cheap, man. They're just not cheap. I hope this video has been helpful and useful to you. If you have any questions at all, please let me know below. I'll be happy to answer them and help you if I can in getting yourself set up and giving some solid recommendations. Doing what other YouTubers are doing is by no means cheap. Now, can you gain from having a successful channel? 
Just ask all the millionaire YouTubers. And there you go. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if it's helped you at all, please like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow, and it lets me know that you like what you're seeing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.